Today on Papa Z's Bees, we're going to take a look at the horizontal hive and make sure everything's okay there. Uh, then we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to pull the, the hive gate out of the nuke to help reduce the heat uh, inside the hive during the day. Also, if you would, hit the subscribe button. And if, if you like the video, please hit the like button as well. It really helps us out. Just a quick warning here, uh, the, the bees in this horizontal hive are, are extremely nasty. Uh, they'll, they'll follow you and try to sting you just any time. And so as you get into here, you can watch the, uh, how, how, how nasty they are getting all over me trying to sting me. In fact, in the middle of the video, I had to stop because I had somehow several of them crawl up inside and I took several stings inside the veil. So I had to stop and clear those out. It took quite a bit of time to get them cleared out. So they're really nasty. So anyway, before too long, we'll have, a, have another video where we're probably going to try to recoin these and show you how that's done. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start this thing here a little bit. We're going to give them a little bit of smoke, let them know we're here. Kind of mask the guard bee pheromones. And then we'll just start uh, taking the cover off here. Make sure I get this down inside. These ladies are just not very friendly. They're all up with the microphone. They don't like black, and that's what part of the issue is. Yeah, we have honey bees. Check and see how they are as far as placement goes, where honey goes. Hmm. Got lots of honey. You see the, the pollen here and the honey. So there, this is the frame that we've been we've worked with in the past. Get a good job. Get a good close up of that honey. That's just thing is just full of honey, which is which is great to see. I know you probably won't be able to see it, but if you can get really close in there, right in right where my thumb is, there's some uh, good uh, larvae in there, and, uh, and then there's you've got some cap root on that side and then cap root on this side. Gosh, wouldn't be surprising if the queen's not in here close somewhere. I don't see her. But that doesn't mean she's not close. <laughs> Oh yeah, gorgeous bird. This, this girl is really doing a good job. Both sides. So they're not gearing down, so they're anticipating some some uh, nectar flow. You see the, the little uh, queen cup uh, that's ready for them to to uh, fill up with the queen should they have an emergency. More brood, uh, both larvae as well as cat brood. Really nice pattern there. She is just playing a storm. You see, I don't think you can really close to this really nice larvae. Down, right in towards that corner. Um, older larvae, but it's, it's, it is, you know, our larvae always. Lots of larvae there, too. And the good thing about the larvae that I'm seeing is that it's wet larvae. It's really wet in there, which, which tells you that, that they're not in the dirt, that they're near. They're not having any problems um, with the food. A lot of nectar right down in here. See that? Hot. 
Oh yeah, there's some big larvae uh, right in amongst that brood. It's getting nice to see. A little bit of nectar in there, but not much. Now we're getting in some honey. That's really good to see. There's honey right in there. There's a lot of nectar. I don't know if you can see the glistening of the nectar. I'll kind of move it back and forth and maybe the glistening will show up. That's, that's uh, nectar as they bring it in and of course they dry it out. Back to, back to uh, brood. Now you can see these larger, these bulbous kind of um, cappings. Those would be drone brood, which really surprises me this time of year that that uh, they're still they're, that they actually are making drones. Okay, I'm gonna put this end back together before I uncover uh, the other end. set of grown brood um, that, uh, from the green management thing so these will put in the freezer and get rid of those drones close this down and then let them uh, kind of work on it and they'll come back through now with the hive gate on here there's just uh, not much room for them to, to get out so I'm going to pull the, the hive gate and the entrance reducer both out there we go that way it'll be a little bit easier for them to get in and out and uh Keep the hive a decent temperature inside. So, an interesting day again today, but it always is, seems like. All the bees around me all over the place. Thanks. It was an interesting day. If, as you watch the video, you could see the bees just, just congregating around that microphone and then just flying around everywhere and, and landing all over me and, and trying to sting through the veil and so on. And then, like I say, some did crawl in and sting me. Uh, that's the quantity of those doing that kind of activity just lets you know that this is this is a hive that needs to be uh, changed, needs to have change in, in, in the queen. So what we'll do is we'll dispatch the queen and then we'll introduce a new queen. And we'll do all that. We'll have another video in the next couple of weeks on, on doing that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.